What's one thing you can do today for your wellness and well-being? And it will help you be successful. It's being non-judgmental. Why should we care? Non-judgment will help us open to see more of life's beauty. It will help us get off that constant quest for more, the hedonic treadmill and the need for instant gratification. Non-judgment will also help us cultivate peaceful mind and help us see clearly. See, our minds are a judging machine. We're always looking at everything around us. And most of the time we are in that autopilot mode, categorizing everything we experience as good, bad, or neutral. Now there's nothing wrong with these judgments. It's the nature of our mind to judge. It's just that it can be draining. Like even your favorite sports team. If they win, it can be energizing. And if they lose, it can be awful. And then we start chasing the good and fleeing from the bad. Or we ignore the neutral. And in this way, we miss out on so much in life. So if we want to be more mindful, non-judging is one of the nine foundations of mindfulness. How can you practice or cultivate this? If you can find a few minutes to sit, relax, and notice whatever comes up in your body and mind. If you can recognize how you are judging and classifying things as good, bad, or neutral, and then from a place of clarity, move. So, practicing non-judgment will help you be more present, be open, be flexible, and this will be good for your wellness and well-being. To learn more about mindfulness, what it is, and how to practice, click on the link below, and we'll see you there.